and welcome back to another day here at Bobby's Backyard. Today we got an Infinity G20. It's either an 01 or 02. Pretty rough shape. As you can tell, it's already the holidays and it already has that on there when I got it. I've had this for about three weeks, almost a month. And so, yeah, it's been sitting for at least a couple years. Got it non running. So, super, super cheap. Uh, it's cosmetically challenged. I don't know if it's a salvage title yet. I got to look at it. Uh, needs a tail light. It's got the reflector on it. I already got that. Needs a new front bumper. Got the front bumper already. It's in bad shape, but better shape than that one. Tail light and some a uh, valve cover bolts. I'll show you that right now. Looks like there was a little side swipe right here. And then I'll show you the damage up front can't believe if this is a clean title i can't believe it but um let me open the hood but yeah check out the bumper bumper is trashed it doesn't even have a center grill so that's why that one i'm putting that one on so today we'll probably go through it see what works see what doesn't work go through it do some easy stuff real quick see why this isn't bolted in uh interior is not too bad for the year dirty but you know, I'll clean it up. It's got a little bit of rip on the bolster as usual. They are cushy though. Comfortable. Uh, there's no illumination on the radio, but it does work. AC's cold. It's not bad. Little crack on the dash. Let's see. Oop. Don't want to do that. Here's the back. It's got a weird color interior. Weird. <clears throat> it is cold out here, guys, man. Whew. That's why my nose is running. Let's see what's in the trunk. Oh, wow. What the? All right, then. Look at that. You can tell it's been sitting. Huh, all right. Well, I'll need to open it to do the tail light anyway. Let's look under the hood. All right, here is the engine compartment. A little itty bitty battery, but it does work. Yeah, see, missing valve cover bolt there. Valve cover bolt back there. And maybe another one here, there. So somebody's been had their hands in this like i said it wasn't running when i got it and as you can tell if i'm scrolling through the engine you can see why when i uh opened the uh hood first thing i saw two big old air gaps right here unmetered air here's the airflow sensor so unmetered air there over here was cracked unmetered air there so i siliconed everything so i started up still dying out on me i'm like what the heck Lo and behold, I'm looking around, I see these valve cover bolts missing. This, this hose was back there, way back there hiding. Big old vacuum leak. I was like, what the, whoever the hell was working on this thing did not know what the hell they were doing. I'm sorry, but they didn't. So, runs good right now. So let's go, uh, let me open up some boxes, see what uh, parts we got. All right, and the first item that I got for this thing was an air intake, brand new, Amazon. $13 free delivery hell yeah prime can't beat that got that uh, engine mounts the rear one back there front I think up here I don't know about that one I don't think I got that one crap this one says for the transmission um damn you know what yeah I'm missing an engine mount I think see because there's one there oh that one was changed but uh, let's see i'm gonna have to go underneath and see what's up maybe there's only three but it looks like there should be four one up here one there one here one over there damn we'll see i gotta get underneath it anyways or jack it up anyways um all right back to what else i got so these are all the engine mounts right here uh the so-called 
strut mounts two uh, two struts I couldn't get any with coils or anything so I'm gonna have to reuse the coils on this let's see yep there they are all right and I think that's about it so let me see what's going on with the headlight oh that's what's going on broken tabs well let me take out the front bumper do the tail light do those quick things real quick put the new air intake tube do that real quick and then another, another video or later i'll do all the mounts all in one do the struts and everything all in one video all this i'll probably do just this video for the front bumper see what's going on with the headlight see if i can fix that and tail light all right uh let's change the bumper now i got one it's not in the best condition but like i said this is a real cheap car we probably won't even paint it no nothing um the old bumper is missing the whole bottom here cracked over there as you can see right here it's missing it's all broken so let's replace the bumper that should be easy it's held on by nothing two tie straps i think and that's it that's all it's holding this one on i'll see if i can get some hardware for this one but like I said, this bumper's a lot better than that one. And then we'll change the tail light. I got that also. Look at this assery here, dude. This is a clean title car. See what I mean? You don't know what you get. I mean, I bought it non-running, everything like that. That's why I knew all this. But still, good lord, look at that. Up in here, tore the welds out. Jesus. All right, let's get the bumper on. You can even tell from the bumper. It's pushed in. See? This is the... Well, let me see. Oh, no, no. There we go. All right, cool. No, it goes on good. All right, cool. All right, let's put on the new used bumper. All right, got the new bumper on. Way better, and it's secure. It's on there. And it coming off. The other one's ready to come off. Nice. And I got some uh, epoxy drying on the headlight. That's all that's broke on it. So I got the duct tape holding it in place. Coming along. Tomorrow I'll probably do the engine mounts. I got all the engine mounts and then I got the struts also. But the struts are last, last on the list. Engine mounts got to be done. Runs good. So far, I haven't even taken on a long drive yet. Tail light is changed. As you can see, it was broken. Had some reflective tape on it. So it wasn't really working. Bam. Like nothing. Put the new one in. So now, on to the engine mounts and the struts. Might be on the same video. I'm not sure. I'll see what I'll do. But that's it for today. I'm tired. Alright, it is the next day. I put some uh, Gorilla Super Glue on there, in there now. Now it doesn't pop out, so that's fixed. And on the last clip, we put the bumper in. That's in there. It's not coming out, and it's got a full grill now. And it has a front license plate. Because in California, you do need a front plate. It sucks, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh, so now transmission mount. Uh, let's see this is this back mount back here that's that one and then this is this front mount down here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the electric fans it's just a lot easier all it is is two 10 millimeter bolts two 10 millimeter bolts there it slides right out not a problem unplug unplug boom 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 so um, give me more room down there put a jack underneath hold the engine over here i just have to take off the air box it gives me access to this transmission mount and just move the battery over take off the uh hold down that'll give me access to these two and really sucks rock auto didn't show this one so i only got three i knew there was four on here so i go to ebay boom right there so i ordered that i can't do that today that'll be another day uh, 25 bucks delivered. I'll have it, I think, Friday. Today's Wednesday. I should, yeah, Friday or Saturday. 
so we'll get that but for right now let's put all these three transmission mounts get everything ready taken apart and then we'll change them all right with the air box out gives you full access to the transmission mount gives you access to that bolt that bolt down there another one right there and the only one you can't get access from the top is this back one you do have to go under the battery tray even moving the battery tray you still won't get it out you need to use a swivel 14 and then an extension because they are on pretty tight so now the rest of them i can do with a breaker bar and take them off so do that next and then see you get full access to this one right here once you take out the uh, engine mount yeah i lost a little bit of coolant i did have to take off that i tried no nah, couldn't do it took out both uh engine mounts well this one's transmission this is the front engine mount yeah it's pretty wasted it's done so here's the new one it did does look like they did change this one already but it has slight cracking right there i don't know if it'll focus in down there but yeah there is slight cracking in there so i'll just put another new one and then i still have to do the back one that's way back down there i'm gonna jack up the car i gotta get it from underneath Dang all right it. in order to do the rear uh engine mount easy just take out the center center support cross member two 17s in the front two 17s in the back 14 millimeter bolt right there and i already took this one out i'm going to install that one while it's out and it just makes it way easier to take that out as you can see i got the jack stand or the jack holding it as you can see i don't know if it'll focus or not there we go it is slightly cracked so good thing i am changing it you just have to pay attention on what orientation it goes in and that's the way it goes so put those bolts back in now almost done not too bad only an hour by the time i'm done hour and a half all right man this gopro trips out so on the last clip i showed you that i had the center cross member out and i was putting in the engine mounts so there's the new one right there right down there where i'm pointing that's the front one you can't see the back one here is the transmission one barely see it there you go right there brand new installed all right so now let's do the uh front motor mount all right we're back on the g20 finally got the engine mount for the front it's in here so now i'm gonna support the engine with the jack and take it out should be simple 14 millimeter 14 14 three of those 14 on the side slide it out and replace it all right and there you have it about 30 minutes later it is in not that hard at all so now i'm going to clean the engine compartment now that everything's complete heck yeah so now i'm going to clean her up okay cleaned up the engine compartment man she looks good not bad Blowing off a little steam right now. Off the radiator. Still running smooth. Heck yeah. Nice. Alright, on to the interior. Okay, as you saw in the last clip, steam cleaned it. It's all nice and clean now. Got that front engine mount in. Last minute. It looks really nice now that it's dry. It looks really good all right so now like i said we're gonna go into the interior i'm not gonna do a big old shampoo or anything there's not that many stains it's clean it's only got this one little stain i'm gonna try to take out the center is not too bad the back is not too bad i'm gonna yes i'm gonna clean the mats outside i'm gonna steam those let those dry for the day it's an okay day today and then we're gonna clean out the trunk um, I asked them about all this stuff, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the recycling center and tell them to take all these, all this paint, and I'm not going to be able to do the struts. Um, these coils are weird. It goes into a cone shape. 
from small to really big i don't have that tool i went to my friend's shop he doesn't have that tool i went up the street they said they might not be able to do it so we'll see what we'll do i know what tool you need you need one of those clam shell um it's a whole setup but yeah we're gonna get rid some rid of this paint he told me to go through this see what's in there throw away everything else so let's clean out the trunk and then we'll go into the interior all right here's all the carpets that you're drying out they came out very nice this is for the trunk trunk mat came out pretty good couldn't take out that blue stain so let's go check out the car all right she's all washed up i'll show you the interior right now the wheels came out better than i thought she's looking good tail lights all changed yeah, I could have did a little bit better on that wheel. I'll touch it up some more. But hey, it was a non-runner. Nasty. Now it's clean. Check out the interior. Man, my street's busy today. And there we go. Clean. Steering wheel was filthy. Back to normal. Seat. A lot better. All this in here, a lot better. Overall, man, can't beat it. All back here. Clean. Heck yeah, I'm happy. This will be a quick flip. One video quick flip, man. Heck yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, I couldn't get all that out. That does look bad, but I think it's either coffee or something. I did it three times. It just keeps on coming out, coming out. I tried to extract it. No work, but floor mat will cover all most of that, 80% of it. So, not bad. All right, I think this is going to end this uh, video. On the G20, I might do one more video with the mats in it and the trunk mat in and everything. We'll see. All right, it is the next day. There's the trunk. Pretty clean. Couldn't get that blue latex stain out. That's bad. So I had to stay. Found some masks, brand new. So I left those in there. Found some CDs, left those in there. And then I found the net. So I hooked that up. So it's useful. Hold the umbrella, the shade. So let's go to the front. And as you can see, see it's a lot better with the uh, with the mats. Like I said on the last clip, I'll show you with the mats. It looks a lot better. Way, way, way better. Excuse me. You see less of that orange stuff. way better right on so now this will end this video <laughs> so until next time please like share and consider subscribing right there on the corner and if you have thank you for the support talk to you guys later